Hi, good day. It's been a long time since I made a last video, but I've been getting some questions about the soldering station that I use, the JBC. It's the basic model, the 130 watts entry level JBC. It does the job perfectly fine for me. I don't need any digital controls to make presets or anything. I just turn the dial and everything is all right. The bigger question is what tips do you use? And I have this assortment and I printed a small container for it to put it on my desk so they don't get damaged. And there are mainly two soldering iron tips that I use. And that's these two. They look very much alike on the camera but one is a bevel tip and one is what i believe they call a chisel and these are my main tips i use these all the time now what do i use these for the bevel one this is actually a special one and i didn't notice it until it got delivered to me because it's an rts or reduced tint surface so the part where the possibility for tint to stick to is actually reduced and if you compare it with the chisel you see it has a lot much larger portion that is shiny on this one it's only almost only the outer edge doesn't matter to me but i think it doesn't hold a lot of uh, solder they state that it's for rework I use it for rework but I also use it for production soldering uh, the code is well they are all, all C245 that's the series of the tip and this is the 102 it's a 2 millimeter diameter on the outside and I use this for rework, touching up, and also for production. And I use it a lot with the solder wick. But there are occasions where I need a little bit more power, or more transfer of power, because the point is actually pretty small. And with this tip, I can transfer the heat a lot better, especially when I'm using uh, solar wick so this is my second most used tip as soon as parts are getting bigger or I have uh, large ground planes I switch to the bigger chisel tip surface mount and through hole components I do with my bevel tape chip maybe one day I will take the one with which can hold a little bit more tin on the end um, I don't need the high temperature versions or anything uh, so it's the 102 and the 907 that I use every day in my work of repairing synthesizer. Now there are some tips that are actually really beneficial when you have to use this one I got a question about only uh, recently and it's the, the knife type tip I hardly ever use this for rework stuff I sometimes use it to make it easier to remove through hole components because you can heat both legs at the same time like a, a capacitor or a resistor if it's through hole you can grab it from the other side and heat both leads at the same time makes it easier uh, but what I really use this one for is for production for example when I have something like this this speeds up production really 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 fast because I can preheat pads while I'm soldering 
on the bed where the point is. The entire surface is hot and I can do it like this and it's almost if you solder three or four pads simultaneously and it takes only a few seconds to do a row like this. Usually I do one side, one side and then I flip it over and then I do the other side. It's not sharp in any manner but I think you can use this to scrape if it's necessary some somewhere. Sometimes you have to scrape a little bit with your soldering iron. Try to prevent it but sometimes it happens. This is the 765 and it's 0.4 by 6 millimeters. On my list this is the third tip that I grab. Then I have another chisel and I only occasionally need this one and I only use this when it's when I'm doing work on SMD and I really need a small pitch. I actually prefer my daily driver chisel tip because because of the angle that it's that's in there I can touch both the pad and the side of any component that I want to heat up. The angle makes it so that I, I can touch them both and I really like that. The smaller chisel doesn't doesn't really do that. It's too small for that. And this is a 906. Dimensions are 1.2 by 0.7 millimeters. Then on my list is actually uh, something that I ordered on purpose because I was expecting something else. But you can see this one is longer. It's only a few centimeters, maybe two. But occasionally I have to get in there somewhere and it's really hard to reach. And this tip just helps me get there without uh, having to be afraid of melting any plastics in the surrounding because I can protrude and my fingers are far away so they're not obstructing the view. There are moments where I grab this, this tip. Not much. It's almost my, it's my second last used tip. But I really like it. When it's necessary, it's really good to have. Then the final tip that I have, and I do use it occasionally, but it's the hollow point bevel ironing tip. The code is 931. There's a little reservoir. It can hold some of the soldering tin that you're about to use. You put some flux on the stuff that you want to solder because all the flux will be evaporated from the tip. So you add some extra flux on the components that you want to solder, but you can bring huge amounts of molten tin. I only use this when I have an extreme case of drag soldering, where I really have to put it down in one go, don't spend too much time on uh, repairing bridge solder joints or anything like that. Uh, this helps because uh, it only gives off that much tin that's necessary to solder the components together. If you do it properly, that is. The first few tries were obviously a disaster. This tip I could live without, but occasionally I grab it when I want to bring in large amounts of tin. So those are the soldering tips that I have, six in total. I actually only need these two. Occasionally I would like to have um, a soldering tip which is at an angle like one of these. So especially for SMD soldering it's sometimes I can be it can be really nice to 
getting there. Uh, but I'm not sure if I want a chisel or a round one. And I believe, well, you can see there's a lot, a lot of to choose from. But yeah, it's not ne really necessary in most cases. So for me, it's the 102 and the 907. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This is what it looked like, what it looks like after a year of use. You get a spare spongy in there to replace it when you feel the need to. Yeah, most of the times I'm wearing gloves while I do this work. So, yeah, I love this system. Really quick to change. Heats up in a few seconds. Great iron. Great tips. Not sponsored, by the way. <laughs>